Another beautiful episode of React with WordPress. This has been one of the most debated series. Uh, I, I know we decided off doing something else in the previous videos, but I have been getting a lot of requests to create pagination uh, on React with WordPress. So basically, this is what we're going to discuss uh, in this video. So in the previous video, we discussed about how we can display the blocks, your WordPress blocks, uh, uh, on the front end using React. And in this video, we're going to talk about how we can create pagination for the blocks. So you can see that we've already created the pagination. You can click on the page number. You also have a nice loader like you get in Facebook and other sites. And you can go to another pages. If the page count is uh, high, then you also get a dot over here because you can't, if you have, you have like 200 pages, you don't want to be showing them all of, all of the page numbers over here. So you have a dot as well. Uh, similar to something that you've seen in uh, the 2019 theme uh, with WordPress and you also have a next button you can see there's a loader you have all of the posts you also have the author name the time when it was published you have the categories that are being displayed you have the excerpt the title the image and it also takes you to the a single page for that for that particular post of course it doesn't look that great because we haven't styled it much but yes, you get the idea. You're going to get to know about how to create pagination uh, in React with WordPress. So I have my WordPress uh, dashboard here. I've got all of the posts uh, over here and those posts are going to be fetched with the help of REST API onto the front end in React. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now to achieve this, uh, we can actually use the default REST API that WordPress provides us with the page number, etc. But um, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom endpoint uh, with REST API, WordPress REST API so that we have more control over what data that we need. Because with the WordPress uh, REST API that you have by default, you don't get everything in one go. You have to make multiple calls. We can create just one endpoint that gives us everything that we need. So I have already created one. As you can see, this is my endpoint. And I have a different, different page number options as well. Let's say if I want the page number one, I can hit it. And now you can see you have a status of 200. You have the post data, you have the ID, title, excerpt, attachment image, image sizes, image source, source set. You have the categories information uh, and all of that, right? And that's exactly what we need. So, and besides that, you also get to know how many posts are there, which are available. So I have like total of 78 posts in my WordPress site and what is the page count which means how many pages are there so if you divide uh, let's say i'm showing nine posts in one go so if you divide 78 by nine you're going to get uh, 8.6 so somewhere around close to nine so we have nine pages so basically uh, it's going to show the nine of the posts on uh, for example the eight pages and the remaining on the last one that's how, that's how it works. And if I want to just hit the page number two, now you can see I have another nine post uh, for the second page. And again, I've got all of the data available. And this is exactly what we're going to use. Uh, we're going to build this custom endpoint that, fetch, that gives us all of the data that we need. And we're going to just use that data over here. So if you do an inspect element, and if you go to network tab, and let's say if I go to page number three, now you can see that you've got the page number three being loaded. You hit it, you can see that you've got all of the data being shown over here. Isn't that wonderful? Brilliant. So let's get started and let's learn how we can do this. Okay, the first thing we need to do is basically get all of the data from the WordPress. And the way we can do it is, is through the REST API. So what we need to do is we need to create a WordPress REST API custom endpoint. Now, there is already one available if you want to use. So if you just search WordPress REST API, and if you should get it here, and then once it's open, you can go on to the references. In fact, you can look for posts. And if you want to list posts, you can click on this. And you can see this is what we have available. You also have the 
arguments available, which means you can put like a question mark and then page uh, and set its value to one, depending on which page you want. And you can get uh, all of this information as well. So this is a simple one. If you want to use it, you can. Uh, however, if you would like to create one for yourself, which there would be a lot of situation where you need custom data, you need to run some custom query and, and you don't have the option available in the WordPress REST API, then you can create a custom endpoint. But always first look for this solution. If, if there's one already made, then just use that. But however, this is for learning purposes and it's good to learn how to make custom endpoints. So let's, let's make one. So if you go on to my Git repository at Imran H. Sayed and you just look for click on that and just type rest and here it is this is the repository I've made some custom endpoints already this is just a WordPress plugin custom plugin that I've created and this is the class uh, that I've created to write my custom endpoint okay so let's create one so I've already got the plugin uh, you know set up over here if you just look at this one we just have some of the plugin constants and just including some of the files. Okay, so what we want to do is we'll go to the API directory and just create a class and we'll name the class as class RAE. So just namespacing that. Register get posts API. You can choose a short name, but I'm just keeping this for now. Okay, and then just Put some notes. Say register get posts API. Just give the package name rest API and points. Okay. Then we just create a class. And let's name it as Ray, which is a namespace. Register get posts API. And oops. Okay, and then we create a function, which will be a construct function. And We'll just name it as constructor public function construct and this is where we're going to we're going to register the rest endpoint okay so let's include this file into the main file so this is my main file of the plugin I'm just going to do include once apis class Plus, rate register get post API dot PHP. Okay, that file has been included. Now, let's just name our post type over here so that later on, if you want to change it, we can change it at one place like this. So, I want to name my post type as this, and the route that I want to create, let's name it as posts okay all right and then we just do an add action and we're going to hook it to rest api init hook and then we're just going to save this and call the function to register the rest api endpoint so rest posts and points and let's just create that function so public function rest post endpoints okay so in the next video we're going to learn about how to create the custom endpoint for all of the data that we need and then once we've created our custom endpoint we'll test it and then we'll move to the front end where we use react to create the pagination okay so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, you can also follow me on twitter to support my work 
my handle is Imran Sayyab. Okay, and do give the star to my repository on to GitHub and do follow me on GitHub as well. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.